What's up guys, it's Gary with Fresh From The Farm Fungi. I'm here in Denver, Colorado, and we've got our week nine update of our Cordyceps project. So we've got our first um, batches of our different phenotypes that were mated from single ASCO spores over here. And we uh, compared the honey liquid culture versus the TSB liquid culture. Um, there's some exciting updates with that. You can see, you know, this is the honey solution on the left and the same TSB solution on the right for all these different phenotypes. So I'll just give you a quick peek. So this is all the honey jars, which they seem to be about 80 to 90% colonized. And then if I come over to the TSB side for the same exact phenotypes, you know, most of these are at 90 to 100 um, percent. So very slight difference five days in. My concern was mostly about fruiting. Um, the tryptocase soy has a little bit more protein than the honey. So I'm interested to see, you know, the difference. Um, I'm, you know, a big fan of using the honey liquid cultures, but Cordyceps is a whole different game and a whole different breed so i might be switching over to tsb for the cordyceps cultivation and then um we've got you know some different jars that we tried out and it looks like you know this flat cylinder jar seems to be colonizing pretty well um my concerns about using the different volumes was just space limitation for fruiting so as long as we get some of these different kinds of jars into fruiting like this really tall skinny jar versus this really fat and tall jar and then unfortunately it looks like we have some contamination with this jar so i'm going to be pulling it out but this is just uh an extra inoculation from some of the leftover liquid culture so i'm not too concerned about that then we've got all of our slants here so all of these original cultures are backed up on slants and these are going to go into the refrigerator today um, i'm going to parafilm them and store them so that when we find our best fruiting strain i can go straight from the slants back into liquid cultures and ramp up that production so we've also got a couple of our tubs and um, these were both inoculated from inside the bag and then distributed over the tub and it looks like we've got you know about 80 to 90 percent colonization um, i'll keep you guys posted on these i'm really excited to get these tubs into the uh, the fruiting tents and also probably about either Friday or Saturday these jars are going to go into fruiting too so I'll keep you guys posted on that it's kind of a quick update today um, I just wanted to show the progress that we have about four or five jars that are fully colonized at five days which is super exciting um, that was kind of my target for a commercial strain so colonization within five days you can see that these tubs are pretty thick too so um, and I only use 10 uh, 10 cc's for the jars and then 20 cc's for the bags because I had two like uh, two and a half pound rice bags which equal five pounds so um, I'll keep you guys posted on everything and once we get some fruits, we'll be posting these cultures up on our Etsy, Fresh Fungi. So give us a thumbs up if you enjoy this content. Share these videos if you think anyone else will find it useful. Um, comment below if you have any questions. Um, feel free to email. I'm going to be open to trades, especially this winter. I'm going to be ramping up my breeding projects. So give us a shout out if you're interested in trading for any of these cordyceps or I'm going to be posting these cultures on our Etsy as soon as we get fruits. All right, guys. Um, thanks again for watching and until next time, much love.